Hi everyone, so I decided to create these informative videos about nutrition and today we are going to start with our first macronutrient which are fats, so let's begin. There are three macronutrients in total, proteins, carbohydrates and fats. Each and every one is very important, so you cannot create a balanced physique without either one of them. I decided to start with the fats because it's the most neglected macronutrient and today we will learn about them. So let's begin with the basics. As nutritional values we need to mention that fats have 9 calories per gram. They have an energetic role and also a storage one for vitamins. Our body can digest 97% of the ingesting fats. In our blood we can identify the fats in three forms such as triglycerides, cholesterol and phospholipids. If the ingestion is too high, it can cause different diseases such as cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes and dyslipidemia. The ingestion must be between 15 and 25% of the daily calories intake. The role of lipids. They can provide fat soluble vitamins which are A, D, E and K. They can sustain the delivery of these vitamins and they sustain also the delivery of fatty acids. They are a good source of energy, they control the satiety, they also have a plastic role in cell membrane, nails, hair and hormones. And also they have a protective role. Categories. The fatty acids are divided in two groups, saturated and unsaturated. They represent the carboxylic acids which are found in the composition of triglycerides and phospholipids with one bond, monounsaturated omega-9s, with two bonds, polyunsaturated omega-3s and 6s. These essential fatty acids can be synthesized by our body, so they need to be ingested. Good sources are olive oil, avocado, nuts, fish and fish oil, peanut butter and also eggs. The saturated fats can be found in cheese, milk, meat, sausages, bacon, and they can become trans fats in the frying process. Triglycerides. 90% of the ingested fats are in this form and 10% in the sterile form. They are made of fatty acids and glycerol. The main role is energetic and the quantity transported in the body is between 100 and 160 grams. Half of them are from the food ingestion and half from the endogen source. Their transport in the bloodstream is made in lipoprotein form which are known as kilomicrons, VLDL, LDL, IDL and HDL. The low density lipoproteins transfer the fats from the liver to the arteries which, in time, can cause the atherosclerosis. The high density lipoproteins on the other side transfer the fat from the arteries to the liver. That's why we need a diet in which un the unsaturated fats predominate. Digestion, absorption and the metabolism. Important in lipid digestion is the secretion of bile, which contains bile acids that are critical for digestion and absorption of fats and fat-soluble vitamins in the small intestine. If the ingestion is high, then not all of the fats can be absorbed and the process is slowed down, which increases the satiety, that's why it's not recommended to consume them pre and post effort. The deposit of fats are in the adipose tissue, muscle tissue and liver. To metabolize them as a source of energy, they need to be extracted from the deposits and transferred to the cells where the oxidation takes place and the ATP is created. The fats can be stored at the visceral level, that's in between the organs, and the subcutaneous levels and in the adipocytes that create the adipose tissue. In case of ingestion of a predominant carbohydrate meal, the insulin response has a huge role in lipids deposits. The rise of the insulin favors the production of triglycerides and their storage in the fat cells. Fun fact! That's why you see people who like to have treats in between meals like sweets, patisserie, sodas, chocolate and they get fat. Because ingesting them alone, the glycemic index can be taken into account. We will talk about carbohydrates and glycemic index in the next video. Fat oxidation. The high intensity of the workout reduces the fat oxidation. The low to medium intensity and medium duration offers the best values for burning fat. Important fact. When the intensity of the workout is high, your body uses glycogen as the main source of energy. If you exercise or do high intensity cardio for a long period of time, the glycogen deposits can be diminished 
and the next sources of energy will be amino acids and fat. So by doing that you can lose fat but unfortunately you will lose muscle too and that is not the proper way to reduce body fat. The high ingestion of carbohydrates reduces the fat oxidation. On the other hand, the high fat ingestion favors the lipids oxidation by becoming the main source of energy. But to do so it's important to have a high activity level otherwise they will be stored in adipocytes. As a conclusion, I would like to advise you to make the best choices every day and replace the saturated and trans fats with the unsaturated ones by making smart changes. For example, you can use olive oil instead of palm oil or avocado instead of butter. So this was my first video about nutrition, our first macronutrient fats. Stay tuned for a lot more videos like this. We will cover the next macronutrient, carbohydrates and proteins in the next videos. So if you want to see them, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. On the other hand, the f then on, not all if the ingestion is high, then not all of the f the deposit of fats are in, in the edible. In case of ingestion, in case of ingestion of a predominant, <laughs> that's why you see people who, as a conclusion, I would like to say. So this was my first video, guys. 